So one of the exciting new additions in 24H2 is Windows sudo. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. So first, let's start with how you actually enable it. As you can see here on my computer, I'm going to search for developer settings. And you'll see here there's an enable sudo, and you even select how you want it to have it set up. We're just going to set it to inline for now, just for fun. And then we're going to kind of go from there. So once you enable it, if you type sudo right in here, you can see this, right? So it gives you an idea of what the commands are. So first of all, if you want to change how it's being done, I type sudo config enable, and now it's going to show you, okay, so let's say I want to do force new window. You'll see what that's like in a second. Oh, I have to run as administrator? So I'm going to sudo the sudo. Yes, it's a little silly, but it is how it works. So you couldn't see here, but I got a UAC prompt to allow sudo. So now it's it's done force new window. Now, what happens when I want to do a net stat, which I like to do a lot? It wants to be elevated. So now, instead of having opening a PowerShell window as administrator, I can just do this. And you can see here it opened it a new window like that. So you know it's kind of silly, but so let's let's walk it back and go and go back to the normal. So we got a UAC window again. So we're gonna run that same command. We're gonna accept the UAC again and see now it runs right inside of the window. And so that's kind of the idea is that as long as you're a local administrator, you can leverage sudo and elevate, you know, to run all different types of commands that you would normally, you know, would want or be able to run. So, you know, like what about one of our favorites is, you know, principal or so if we want to do a restart service spooler. Okay, that didn't work, right? So let's see what happens if we sudo. sudo run restart service so you can see here we can't you can't just run stuff like that but what you can do is you can go sudo powershell so now once i've done that now i can do sudo restart service spooler or just say Restart service. So you can see here that restarted my spooler service. So this just kind of gives you an idea of what you can actually do with this. It's about kind of learning and figuring it out. But like I said, the real key is if you're not an administrator, it's simply just going to tell you you're not allowed to run sudo. And that just gives you an idea of just the power of this. So I hope you enjoy.